Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Costa Rica Crypto. My name is Matt and today we're going to be talking about Ocean Protocol, which is building on Polkadot. And Ocean Protocol is a really important protocol that's incredibly dear to my heart for a lot of the reasons that people have heard me speak about before in the past. So without further ado, let's get into it. What exactly is Ocean Protocol? Ocean Protocol is essentially a protocol that is built on blockchain that allows people to be able to monetize and um, sell their data. Why is this important and why does this matter? For a long time, even though you may have thought that you are using Facebook or you are using Instagram or you are using a lot of these centralized companies, it's not necessarily true. The truth of the matter is that you are the product and they make an insane amount of money off of monetizing your data. And the current incentives just aren't simply aligned. It's completely open source and it allows everybody to data share and profit. Ocean Protocol is completely community funded and I really believe that this will become the de facto standard in the future for access control to your data and beginning to redistribute some of the incentives that have kind of been stolen from us for a long time. The really interesting thing about Ocean Protocol is the fact that they're not going out there saying, we are gonna crush Facebook, we are gonna crush Instagram, we are gonna crush all these companies in which have been stealing your data. They're actually building a bridge to them and saying, listen, we know what's going on here. Here's a little bit of a bridge. You know, Owning your data is really gonna become the de facto standard as people start to wake up from a lot of the things that current companies are doing to us. And this is a really simple bridge that anybody can use, anybody can build on to be able to tie in and start making things right that we've kind of taken for granted from the past. Now let's talk a little bit about the future of data. So it's been said that data is worth as much as property and the price is actually rising. The future of a lot of people actually lies in the data that they produce. And again, we've been stolen from for a long time. So Ocean Protocol provides a little bit of a bridge to allow people to be able to monetize their data and get fairly paid for the different things that we do when you are being tracked by various centralized applications. Ocean Protocol essentially says that data is the future asset and it'll be the asset that people can monetize. You can use it as collateral in the same way that you would collateralize a loan with a house, a car, or any personal assets. The interesting thing about Ocean Protocol is it is a protocol where large tech companies have to ask you permission to use your data every single time they access it. And it also transparently tells you what data you're giving them. Now let this sink in for a second. I recently listened to a podcast that had Bruce Pond on, and he mentioned something that I thought was pretty interesting. Out of all of the businesses in the world, the top 10 most valuable companies are actually data companies. So that's an indicator that information, the price of information, particularly the price of your information is on the rise. It is big business and it will continue to be big business in the future. Now, these companies want to retain their data. They want to retain value. But as people start to wake up and see what's going on with some of these companies, they don't really have a way to do so. And that's what essentially Ocean Protocol provides. It provides a way to be able to silo data, to be able to share it, to be able to pay users for their appropriate data, and to be able to ensure that information exchange between users and some of these large companies are still happening, but they're happening in a fair way. There's never been a more opportune time in the world to be able to unlock some of the value of this data. There is a ton of data that has not been leveraged and Ocean wants to play that pivotal role in allowing new user information and new user data to be leveraged in a way that's symbiotic for both of the parties. What problem is Ocean solving? So currently we can't really track our data. No tools are around to be able to provide people with security or control of their data, or at least not tools that are implemented at scale. Companies are monetizing your data every single day and you are the product. Now, in every one of these interactions, that company is ultimately the beneficiary and the owner of your data. That's a problem. Ocean ends to help solve some of the privacy issues and the piracy of data by providing a bridge where you can get adequately paid for the information 
that you are giving to some of these companies. Every time you use an application, every time you travel somewhere, any time that you put an input into your phone or really even move with your phone, there's a really good chance that companies are getting data about you, about your movements, about your preferences. And a lot of companies are actually turning around and creating algorithms to ensure that they manipulate you into using the product more. All in a nutshell, Ocean really unlocks people's data and allows it to be productive and allows you to get paid for the inputs that you're making and for some of this value exchange that's happening in between yourself and a lot of these other big data companies. The world's data set is growing exponentially, yet it remains extremely underutilized. Most companies have tremendous amount of data already, but they have difficulty exploiting it. Conversely, other companies are starving for data, particularly in AI. Ocean Protocol allows data providers to be able to share this data with other companies, monetize the data, while the person who provided that particular data set has custody, control, and transparency. So what exactly is this protocol gonna be used for? I know I've talked a lot about owning your data and some of the things that you can do with it and why it's important to own your data. But Ocean Protocol essentially is gonna be able to allow you to monetize your intellectual property. So if you're a podcaster or if you do analysis for markets or if you have some intellectual property, this becomes a really interesting way to tokenize fractionalize and monetize that data. They're saying that you're gonna be able to use it for collateral. Think, think in terms of financial products being built on top of Ocean, where you can actually use your intellectual property and your data, the things that you do on a regular basis to collateralize for a loan or a mortgage or other financial products. Another really interesting proposition that has been talked about are actual data stable coins, where your data becomes the collateral for a stable token. I think that that's phenomenally innovative and that's something that I'm looking forward to seeing. It's currently being used in the markets for automotive, financial supply chain, and future uses are obviously gonna include banking, logistics, um, and enterprise data, right? Every company on earth will be able to monetize the data that they take in, but they'll be able to do it in a way that's fair and transparent with the people in which are giving them the data. So it really starts to realign the incentives of what's going on. And I think really what's cool to me about Ocean Protocol is that it's going to create a lot of awareness. And it's something that I've said I'm very passionate about. We are the products. There is a huge imbalance of incentives in the way that we do just about everything in life. The future is in big data and the future is in you getting paid for your data. Obviously, there's a ton of B2B, business to business use cases that will come of this and a lot of um, business to customer cases that will come of this as well. So who exactly are the founders who are ambitious and maybe a little bit crazy enough to think that they can pull this off? And well, there are a ton of people, I do think that if anybody's gonna do it, these guys are gonna do it. Bruce Pond is one of the founders who's formerly um, helped people create banks in underserved parts of the world. He's got a really rich history in financial services. Um, he's also worked in financial service sectors within some of the major vehicle companies in the world and also created another startup which is relatively related to this. Um, where he worked with the other founder on intellectual property on blockchain, which I think is a really, really cool use case. Uh, Bruce, of course, is an MIT graduate, so the man is no slouch. Now, Trent McConaughey is probably equally as impressive as Bruce. This guy was born and bred in information and AI research as he started working for uh, national defense uh, in AI research at a really young age. He is an AI-based creativity startup founder. He's got a PhD, has created a startup that actually leveraged AI to help drive Moore's Law, which was under threat due to high manufacturing variations. Trent was also the founder of Solito Software that used modern chip technology and was acquired by Siemens. Currently, Ocean Protocol has over 35 advisors spanning the globe with recognized expertise in AI, blockchain, big data, and policy. Advisors were carefully selected in alignment of values towards unlocking data and AI for society. So they were essentially people that they thought could bring meaningful collaboration and uh, refer potential business partners, integrate with the protocol and provide guidance on governance. There's also over 200 developers who have currently worked on Ocean Protocol. 
So what exactly are Ocean Tokens? Why do they matter? Well, essentially, Ocean Tokens are available so that people can monetize data. And if the procurer of that data meets certain XYZ conditions, they're gonna get access to that data. Currently, when you go to purchase data, you can actually take Ocean Tokens for that, but there's a lot more utility built into them. So Ocean Tokens grant access to people's information. They gather fees. Uh, they're used for minting. Because Ocean Protocol is decentralized and the Ocean token holders actually participate in decisions on where to push this protocol, they're also used for voting in governance. Obviously, you can buy and sell Ocean tokens, and those can be used as a mean of exchange. And there are also some really, really interesting staking features coming to Ocean Protocol that are going to be released soon. Over the next little while, they've taken 51% of the total supply of the network. And programmatically, those tokens will be minted for ecosystem rewards. So if the tokens that are kind of minted over time aren't sufficient to provide adequate value to the chain, they will be burned. And once again, all this is voted on through governance by the token holders themselves. Now, the really cool thing about Ocean Protocol is that if you are an Ocean token holder in the future, you're gonna actually get rewards. So everything that they've done is created to drive value into the ecosystem, and that value is extracted only by the holders of the tokens and the people who are involved in this exchange of information. So say for example, if you created an API um, that has a, a governance aspect or has some sort of use case for the chain, those token holders will actually receive returns from when people are monetizing that API. Let's talk a little bit about partnerships because this isn't just some sort of kind of la la fairyland protocol. There are a lot of partnerships in the works and a lot of serious people are actually already interested in what these guys are doing. So Dahmer, which is a, a pilot project going on with the Mercedes Benz brand is actually doing a pilot or has completed a pilot rather to explore a decentralized data orchestration which basically means that they're using Ocean's end-to-end -end solution to be able to monetize information that they're getting from these owners, and that's actually driving value back in the owners themselves. Now, the IBM and XPRIZE connection is also really interesting to me. So they've essentially provided people who are participating in the XPRIZE to be able to monetize their data and actually receive profits from the data that they're creating as they participate in the XPRIZE. Now, Dex Freight, which is a large logistics company, actually has a partnership with Ocean Protocol to create the first Web3 marketplace. And that really refers to being able to monetize information from freight brokers, from shippers, from carriers, and not only to be able to create additional revenue for them, but to also make the data available to the general public to be able to use in their own processes and, and products, and also to be able to reduce the environmental impact that some of this freight services are having on the world. Moby is a member-led consortium of large companies that is currently using the technology to make the world a more environmentally friendly place. And BMW is actually partnered with them using blockchain technology for supply chain transparency. Roche Diagnostics is actually using Ocean Protocol to provide private, real-time medical data to professionals and institutions, which is allowing a faster feedback on self-monitoring devices so that people can understand a little bit more about their heart health, have quicker access to that data, and hopefully live a longer life. Zolke, which is a partner for Innovative Projects, is actually using the technology and business expertise to be able to collaborate with them to create solutions for pharma and med tech. Now, for anybody who doesn't understand what all that means, I really encourage you to go check out their webpage. These are some really big companies with some really amazing use cases. And I know as the popularity of Ocean Protocol continues, uh, we're going to see a lot more big companies jumping into this. And rightfully, they should. So that's really the gist of Ocean Protocol. To me, it's a really important protocol, largely because of a lot of the injustices that have been happening. I really encourage people to open up your eyes, go check some of this stuff out, go research some of this stuff, and the way that you are being exploited, your data is being exploited by large companies, by a lot of these centralized companies. And the only way to really push this thing forward is to understand what's happening and to start demanding that, that some of these larger companies are gonna create products that are built with protocols for 
for information sharing exactly like Ocean. Ocean is probably one of the most important products that we've seen in the blockchain space to date. I feel like a lot of people are in the fight for their lives with big data and they don't even know it. Now, just a friendly reminder, all this stuff is not solicitation for you to go and buy Ocean Protocol. I'm not telling you to go buy it. I'm not a financial advisor. That's not my job. Don't take advice from internet strangers. That is a bad thing to do, but definitely go in, peel into this project. It's one of the most important projects in the blockchain space today. I'll make sure I put all the links below and take a look around. The world is changing and it needs to change. And I think Ocean Protocol can potentially be a large part of that change. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a like, hit the subscribe button. I'll be coming to you in the future with a lot more content on different blockchains. And uh, thanks so much for watching. See you soon.